that's a great question. They wouldn't know that it's being absorbed too quickly. In fact, the, the way that, it, that we would know that it's being absorbed too quickly is if I have progression, um, it means that the, the cancer, the drug is not working to stop my cancer from growing. Um, and and they've, they've learned this little by little as people who are on tamoxifen who, you know, on, on paper, they should be responding to tamoxifen. This is something that should be working for them. And you find six months later, they have a new breast tumor, or in some cases, they have metastatic diseases spread to other places in their body. So that got them to thinking, okay, well, maybe people metabolize these drugs at a different rate. And that's what led to the creation of that, that, uh, that metabolism test that I mentioned earlier. Um, <clears throat> that actually determines, based on somebody's own, um, own metabolism, are they, are they absorbing it at a high rate or a low rate or somewhere in the middle? So it's not that there's a, a symptom that would indicate that they are not absorbing it or absorbing it too much. Um, it's, it's over the years we've learned that, you know, if tamoxifen's not working, maybe there isn't a way that we can determine if it should work. So this test is typically ran before people start taking tamoxifen um, as, a, as a way to identify is tamoxifen the right drug for them. Um, because like I said, there's about 15 different hormone drugs that you can take that act in, in different ways. So, you know, other, um, other drugs actually downgrade the the receptor itself, whereas some drugs stop the formation of estrogen in your body, period. Um, so it really just determines, is tamoxifen the right drug for you? And since tamoxifen is used mainly in the early stage setting and nearly completely in the uh, premenopausal setting, uh, if you're not a good metabolizer of, or you metabolize tamoxifen at too high a rate, it may indicate that it's time to take your ovaries out and opening up to a larger array of treatment options in the postmenopausal state, uh, which is hard for some people, especially young women, to, to swallow because now they have you know, no ovaries and no chance of having children, um, but you know, their, their life is that much more important. So.